Morning everybody, happy Saturday, hey Paul's good. Thank you very much for joining. So I've just been doing my warm up. Oh. Hi Steve, all the way from the US, hey Paul's good. Matthias, how's it going? Good to see you. Pierre Alain, yes it was a nice warm up, thank you very much sir. Love the Lego, all the hype for sure. Hi Ian. Oh, it's cold over in Ireland. The shed heater is on, yeah, I don't blame you. And yes, I have had some coffee to warm up the nervous system. Steve, all the way from Australia, thank you so much again for joining. Hiya, Di. How's it going? Chris from Australia as well, Legless Gaming, hope it's all good. Hiya, Craig. How are you this morning? Morning, Jason. Hope all's good. Pete from Australia, wow. The Australasian community. I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. David, I hope Paul's good, sir. I know you and your missus have got um, COVID, so I hope you and the family have got it mildly. Fingers crossed for you all for a speedy recovery. Hiya, Jan. Hope Paul's good, sir. PKB, hope it... No doubt I'll get some direct advice from you, sir, PKB. Thank you very much, yeah. This is a new, a new jersey. I got it from Vitti Cycling in the sales. Really nice. Yeah, sharp, yeah. It's a bit like the, um, the colors for your cycling club, Ian. Hi, Chris. You're in the bees. Nice one, sir. Oh. Yes, it's gonna be a tough old race, this one. Oh yeah, I see you just joined the bees. Let me have a look. So Chris Garinet and Chris Taylor in the bees. Good luck, sir. Niels Heldens. If you're streaming, Niels, let me know in the chat and I can direct people to take a look. And Nick Pilgrim, very best of luck to you as well. Two laps. <laughs> Not pleasant. Very best of luck to you as well, Chris. Hey, Chuck. Smiley Chuck, thank you very much for joining. I really do appreciate it. It's all right, sir, a pleasure. Give it a go, Chris, yeah. Knock it out of the ballpark. Hey, Paul, morning to you. Hope Paul's good. Yeah, this is a tough old race, Lord. Morning, Mike. What are you racing this morning? So are you doing something in the caddies? Hiya, Damon. Very good morning to you, Phil Rich. I know you're focusing on the short sprint races at the moment, so I hope you have a good one today. I think the health is okay. I've got a, uh, an operation on the, 20, the 27th of um, January to take the appendix out. The walls are thickened in there. They can't see inside, but they think the bleeding could be caused by a growth inside. Nothing is spread outside. So in the A's, we got Paul Hamblett, good luck. Louis Andrade, very best of luck to you. And Sammy Knockhart, very good luck, Sammy. Are you at work, sir? Okay, sorry to hear that. Morning, Ed. How are you today, sir? I guess you're about half an hour in to your three hour extravaganza. And of course, let me remind you all the WTRL. Ed Laverack, um, training to prepare you for the Richmond WTRL races next week, is on at 5 p.m. tonight. Go on, Zwift Companion. It's a BRT racing, Ed Laverack. It's gonna be one hell of a training. Hiya, Ryan. Wayne, good to see you, how are you? Hi, Carl. Carl and David, father and son in the house. I hope you're keeping well, Carl. Jerome, good morning to you. You racing this morning, sir? Right. So what's the course today? Um, let me have a quick look, remind myself. It's the UCI course um, in Innsbruck, which means I think we go around Innsbruck town and then up the KOM, the Ford KOM, and then 
back down the mountain, back up the KOM. I think we finish the race in the town centre. Monsieur Rilleur, Adam, good morning, sir. Hey, we've got some nice weather here in London, so I'm guessing you might be outside. Ooh, my voice went up there. Raw Lord, very good morning. Hope all's good. All right, so I've done my usual warm up. I'm really debating whether to stay on trainer difficulty 100% today. Morning, Keith. Well, thank you very much. I am truly honoured. I appreciate that, Keith. You're racing this afternoon, Jerome. You're at work now. Oh, two consultations. Are you a doctor, Jerome? If you are a doctor, all right, in the front line. Ordering your what bike? Very good decision, sir. I love my what bike. I might upgrade to an Atom at some point. A veterinary surgeon. Ah, so what are the consultations? What animals do you have? Now, cats and dogs. The average amount of money a person in the UK spends on a dog over its life is 30,000 pounds. A reasonable chunk of which is vet bills. Too cold today, is it? You're running with nice one, Adam. That was the right answer. Mr. Laverack will give you a special star. Riding with Ed Laverack's WTRL training. It's Baltic. <laughs> yeah, Ian was saying the same, Paul. Chom Chom. Thank you very much. It is a tough loop. It's basically um, a couple of 20 minute FTP tests, I think. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, David. Fingers crossed you carry on on the upward trajectory. Alison, thank you very much for joining. Yeah, you love your walk bike, Atom, too, definitely. It's been a life changing investment for me a couple of years ago. I'd have never found all of this without it. Hiya, Paul. Hope you warmed up nicely. Ready to drop me on the Ford KOM. I feel really nervous as always. And I was saying, I was debating whether to drop the trainer difficulty down to 75% because when I hit, um, what's it called? Out the Zwift, at the back end of that, um, the Eber pretzel, it was like hitting a wall. Basically, I had to be up and out of the saddle about 60, 65 RPM for much of the course. Thank you very much, Ed. I got a star from Ed. For my training this week, I stuck to the program. Indeed, I did one of the harder sessions twice because I forgot to hit the in-game record for the vlog. The things that I do. Morning, Saracen. Hope you're well. <laughs> what bike do have a lot to answer for. Stephen, very good morning to you. Well, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. What are you up to, sir, this morning? I smashed you up, yeah, but... It was pretty hard on the legs, I gotta say. The legs felt like they're in tiny pieces at the end of it. I think up and out of the saddle for like two thirds or more of that out was pretty, pretty hard, I think, and on the knees as well. So I got it still on 100% today, but we'll see. Christian, very good morning. Hope you're well. The level of concern is now rising. I'm on the Trek at Monday today, and the reason 30% in Cat A. Oh. Now you're in Cat B. Well, just gradually bring that FTP up, Jerome. And I'm sure you'll be back in Cat A, getting dropped with me and everybody else in Cat A. Very, very good morning, John. So I'm gonna keep it on 100% today. But I was sorely tempted to drop it to 50, uh, sorry, 75. I'm on the Trek in Monda so that people can see if I'm drafting or not, so that I can see if I'm drafting or not. It probably isn't the optimal bike, certainly on the descents. Here we go. No going back now. Hey, Leon. Very good morning. The version one, sir. I love the version one. I think the version two is better. I haven't tried it yet. Anyone in the chat's got the version two? Let Leon know. Just gonna settle.
Hi Mick, how are you? Yeah, I, do, I think like you're right, David. The tr uh, sorry, uh, the triumph of the descent. Morning, Giorgio. Congratulations on a very nice video. Giorgio Capetta cycling and your FTP increase. Very impressive, sir. Forgot to have my fan on. So I'm just gonna try and settle a bit. But quite a civilized start here. That's right, Adam, I remember you get the, the version two. Very good. So there we have it, an independent review. Yeah, check out Ed on Discord. Ed mode, Ed radio on Discord. You'll probably get a verbal insight as to what I could do better, which would be a good thing. I haven't got my Discord on, I find it a bit too distracting. Chris Taylor. In the bees, how's it going? Niels, how you doing all right in the bees? I haven't. How did your test go? I think you did a dual recording. You said in the chat. Head, head, sorry. Okay, need to get my game face on. There's Lewis Andrade. I don't know if you're streaming, Lewis. Hey Josh, how are you this morning? Who's your teammate, sir? Hi Robin, thank you very much. There's Sammy. Heart rate's high.
Cheers, Ed. Roger that. The guy in front lost the wheel. This is too deep for me. Here's David. Yeah, we were getting this fast in real life, Dallas.
Hi Stuart, how are you? I've been better, Stuart.
Und so, und so, hi, 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 Leo.
Man, that was proper hard. That was a decent time for the 4KM for me. Thanks for all the support there. I was watching it in the chat. I went too deep early, but I was trying to stay with the close to the front group. But I don't have the threshold power to do that. And definitely, when the gradient hit 10%, I had to be up and out of the saddle on 100% training difficulty to maintain the momentum. A stronger rider than me on 100% could still spin. I bigger FTP. Yeah, I got it into the lower gear head. Dear me. I've got a video to look at trainer difficulty versus the practical realities of riding outdoors later. Tonight, 5 p.m., Ed Laverack and BRT go to Zwift Companion WTRL um, training to get you ready for taking on the Richmond UCI World's Course two laps in a week. Even if you don't want to race in a week, Go to the training, it'll be a lot of fun. Oh, dear me. Yeah, I think you're right, Jerome. Um, it's definitely easy to race on All right, I've got to reboot the diesel engine. Hi Ben, thank you for everybody that joined. Lee, yeah, not sponsored by Coke. <laughs> thank you for everybody who joined during the climb. Sorry, I couldn't talk. I was right on the limit. It was a good climb though. The second climb, I'm gonna to have to pace in order to get up it in a decent time. Yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you, Craig, Craigy, And do subscribe if you haven't subscribed. That's right, Eddie, I'm gonna try and keep it upper zone two, lower zone three. Sorry, he's up his own two to zone three. Whew. Yeah, yeah, vodka. I'm not quite in that illustrious company though. Now I think we probably have the leg slapper at some point, which will be miserable. But miserable for everybody. Jack, hi, how are you? Yeah, there's a nice group here, Jem. Uh, 
That's a nice idea, Ed. Thank you for that. Yeah, definite. Is there not? The snapper is. is that right, Lord? That's great. We'll soon find out. Uh, yeah, indeed. Yo, Dad. Hi, Joshua. How are you? And apologies if I didn't see your name crop up in the chat while I was on the climb. Walk in the park. But I'll be going very deep, or as deep as I can, to make sure it isn't a walk in the park, Mark. <laughs> I'll try and empty the tank a little bit. It's basically two times 20 minutes training, but without the recovery in the middle. Unless we've got the leg snapper. And then it's something a whole lot more disgusting. Mad Monkey, how are you? It is leg snapper, is it? 30 15 is very nice. <laughs> Sammy saying I'm gonna, I'm not doing my turn on the front. I'll, uh, I'll do a little turn on the front. Well, Sammy, I can't do a turn on the front if you're putting down 4.5. Happy to draft, Sammy. You're a powerhouse, sir. Nice one, David. When do you um, expect to take delivery? I found it about two and a bit years ago um, when I was looking for a a different way to get fit. I tried a Watt bike in the gym, one of the pros, and I liked it. They got a good reputation, so I bought one. Took a flyer on the Atom 1. Super glad I did. Yeah, it is a leg snapper, Lord. Let's see if we take it civilized or like hell. Civilized. No, I can't tuck here, Saracen. I don't have the weight. Or indeed the Tron bike. This thing goes downhill like a feather. <coughs> I 
I think it's because I'm in the draft. John. Nice one, David. Same as me, yeah. They're really good. You'll love the atom. Dear me, that was emotional. It's alright though, could have been worse. Thank you very much for tuning in, Robin. Yeah, enjoy the R&R &R and the massage. The Theragun, let us know how it is. Yeah, enjoy WTRL workout tonight at 5 p.m. with Mr. Ed Laverack. Yeah, very civilized, Dallas. Needs to be. Everyone knows what's about to come. Nice one, Mark. Yeah, at him in the gym, definitely. I think that's how a lot of people discovered the Watt bike. Rotate, okay. Well, I'll rotate, Sammy, so long as you don't go four and a half kilograms. Hi Ollie, how are you? Hi Lee, cheers mate. I think Sam is a stronger rider than me. Hey, Mace, or Mackie, Martin, how are you? Yeah, proper miserable this one, Martin. <laughs> Very funny, Ed. Oh. Well, how not to use a draft. Masterclass. Nice one, Damon. Enjoy the meetup. Thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Oh, well, there you go, Raw Lord. Are you going to make the investment? I think you are, aren't you? Sorry, my brain's gone fuzzy. I think you said that earlier. My apologies. Morning, Zach. Nice one, Ben. Wow, loads of people in the Watt Bike crew. Let Watt Bike know. I asked them to replace my Atom 1 with an Atom 2. I said I paid a full cost and if they could trade it in it'd be great. They said they're not doing trade-ins on my Atom 1, it's too old. So I said that's okay. Can you just deliver an Atom 2 and take away my Atom 1? And they said no. But their service is very, very good. More blue, yeah, that's right, Ed, sorry. I really do love the, the Atom.
That's very good work, sir. Oh yeah, you're ordinary on Sunday, that's right. Yeah, I mean, losing a kilogram, a stone, sorry. Very impressive. <laughs> yeah, the Peloton is great if you like a spin class, I gotta say that. I do love the Peloton. I think Jane would prefer a Peloton. I'd like to have a go on the Watt bike, not the Watt bike, the Wahoo Kicker to see what it's like in terms of how different it is. I find the racing difficult, Paul, because um, in, it's in the evening typically and it murders my sleep pattern. I might try a race in the evening, but um, I think it's probably a bridge too far. Yeah, it's about 60 quid a month for the subscription, Raw Lord. Yeah, that's a good idea, Saracen, I like that. Oh, thank you, Alison, you reckon it sells well too. You're looking at getting both. I like that, a two watt bike garage. Love your, love how you roll, Alison. Okay, here we go. Got to get the game face on. Take on a few more carbs. Hi Tommy, how do you find a kicker bike? Max is 130 RPM, that's strange. Okay, go concentrate now. That's quite a long I'll wait that, Ben. Oh, at least you got the upgrade though. Taking advantage of a negative situation, I like that. Okay, sorry here. I've got to hit the equilibrium, it's going to be hard. Sorry, Ed. <laughs> Why so serious? You got a nice sense of humour, Sammy. Love that. Very good. I wish I could type right now. You're playing mind games with me. You can type at threshold. You've already won the mental battle against bike racing without mercy. Typing at threshold.
Hi, Stefan. Hold it, Tommy.
I'll wait out for them now. Hi, Max and Matt. How's it going, mate? Oh. I know it would have been optimal to drop back and conserve energy, but I wanted to get two good climbs at max effort under the belt for this. And I think well, I'm pretty happy with both of them, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna wait up, Scott. Oh, don't wait now, okay. Sorry. All right, I went waited. Hi Redislaw, how are you? Savanche, how are you? Harry, good to see you. David, thank you very much for joining. Oh, oh dear me. So let's go, go, go. Cheers, Ed. Yeah, I mean, I was in a no man's land. If it was a real race outdoors, I'd have had no choice but to drop back and find a different group to get the benefit of the draft. But there I was looking for also the training benefit of a second, basically 20 minute effort, including the leading. Oh dear. I've set my stall down now indeed, yes, yeah. Oh dear. Okay, I'll restart at FTP. The legs felt good today. And I'm, I'm happier with the second ascent because obviously I was fatigued, but I managed to turn just over threshold power staying seated on 10%. And that's really a bit of a breakthrough for me on 100% trainer difficulty. Yeah, Josh went too hard. Negative split for Josh. Oh dear. They're eating into my lead here.
try and find a cadence. Yeah, Ed. Yeah, Monda. Not the best choice. Hey, Monda, sorry. Cheers, Niels. Hey Ying, hi Mountain Earth, cheers.
Oh, dear me. We'll call that 12A or 14th. Dear me. Sammy, well done, you took three minutes, was it, two minutes into me or so. Wow, we... <coughs> oh, return to Watopia. Yeah, it was quite, quite the power curve there. The legs felt good. Thank you, Tatcha. Thank you, everybody, yeah. Yeah, definitely, that was, yeah, that was, um, I know the, oh dear, I can't speak. I know the position, 14th or 13th or whatever it was, isn't close to, um, isn't close to winning. But that was definitely my best effort and the legs were good. I mean, I went proper deep on the first climb. I managed to recover at around threshold. I would estimate both of the climbs were in and around 300 watts or so. Um, we'll have a look, let's have a quick look. I need to have a spin down in a minute. Let's have a look at what the power was. Is it menu? Yeah, so the 20 minute power of 303. Um, and look, here's, you see I'm still on 100% train of difficulty here. Um, Jane, can you bring my, um, uh, what's it called, my uh, headphones please, so I can tune into Discord. What do you want, hun? Oh, my headphones from upstairs, so I can tune into Discord. So, um, that's, and so what I, what I, oh God, I can't even speak properly. What I, fa oh yeah, I was going to look at the power. Where's it gone? So you go to end ride, don't we? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I had a much bigger breakfast than normal. I took on solids rather than just the, um, what's it called? The soluble carbs. And I had a lot more carbs during the hour. I must have got through, what, 35, 70, 70 carbs and probably at least 100 carbs, maybe 150 carbs before the ride. So I was carved to hell. Oh dear. Um, sorry, glasses are steaming up. So that was, um, yeah, I mean, look at, look how, I mean, this was the thing, right? So here, going so deep, but what Ed's been giving me recently is these inter, um, tempo endurance trainings where you're at kind of zone two but you spike for 60 seconds at 400 watts, which is like 138, 139% of FTP. And then you're recovering in zone two and you're doing like 10 of those in half an hour. And that enables me to recover here in and around threshold, have another little dig and then still finish in threshold. And then this was a much more controlled climb. Cheers, Joshua, thank you very much. How was your 30 15s, was it all right? All done. Yeah, I mean, that was a thing. I, I, I don't know where that came from in terms of, it was, this is probably one of my best ever rides in terms of the average power over an hour and 20. But also I think Paul, you said 285 normalized. Where did you come, Paul? Yeah, no, to, to actually, yeah, I was super happy with that. Um, and so for the critical power, I don't think it's obviously a best, but it's pretty close, you know, in, a, in the confines of a race. So where did I get 20 minute power? Um, it says 301, I thought it said 303. Anyway, there we go. And look here, oh yeah, look. It's a personal best over the hour and 20. No, I don't think that's a thing, the hour and 20 power. But that is definitely, yeah, what was it for the hour? No, not for the hour. But yeah, so I was pretty happy with that. Right, let me just call up Ed, sorry. Because he has, Ed is, um, about to live stream um, 
on his channel. So do go over and check that out. Com Hunt TV tomorrow night, 8 p.m. I'm not sure what's going on there, but it'll be madness. Um, Georgia Capella is dropping a load of good stuff. Um, oh, where's this call? I'm trying to find. Sorry, Ed. I know you're talking because I can. I can let you know what Ed's thinking. So where are we? Ed mode. Ed head radio. There we go. Here I am. I'm on Ed head radio. I don't think Ed's there now though. Hi Phil. Oh, I got. Hi Phil. <laughs> this is Phil Rich is on Ed Head Radio. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Well, that that's better because I I'm. Oh, sorry. I can't. I got pushed off. That's better because I find it difficult to talk in Discord and concentrate in a live chat to say. Sign. Anyway, so look, Ed's going to explain what I did right and wrong on his channel. So why don't we go and check out his channel? But I mean, wow. Well, sorry. Um, um, so yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm literally away with the fairies. That took a huge amount out. And my next vlog, good point, Georgia. <laughs> my next vlog is tomorrow. It's either going to be one on trainer difficulty or a training vlog where I'm starting a little mini series on very slow and sustainable fat loss and enjoyable lifestyle while having fat loss. I'm not sure which one we're gonna get edited in time. I need to speak to Jane. She's um, doing it all. I typically race every Saturday morning um, around about between eight and nine starting the race. I might chuck in one during the week depending on how I feel and how work is, but I'm trying to really knuckle down and focus on Ed's structured training. Because as you can see there, um, his structured training definitely paid off in the race today. I mean, right early on in the race, he said, um, you know, nice week of training and look, look how it kind of um, comes out. So super happy with that, along with the carbs. Um, sorry, I'm literally away with the pharaohs. I'm blown away with that, um, but I really do appreciate all of the um, huge support, even when I'm very silent on the climb and I'm just like getting my head down. Um, because, you know, literally, not so much, it's, it's this is what I'm super happy with. It's like, you know, you've got only one moment of respite. And I actually find going into the aero tuck actually is, it's necessary on those kind of steep descents, but I actually find it then quite hard to start the diesel engine again. Um, so yeah, so to recap, um, typically live streaming on a Saturday morning. Um, vlog will drop tomorrow night, uh, either training, um, nutrition, and a little bit starting sustainable and enjoyable lifestyle in terms of very slow fat loss, because you don't want rapid fat loss early on. Uh, especially when there's all this COVID around. But I know a number of people are looking to drop a little bit of weight. Slow and steady wins the race. Um, and then there'll be a trainer difficulty. My thoughts on that, what the practical realities of trainer difficulty are for a cyclist of my capabilities. If you've got better capabilities than me, it will be different um, in terms of when you have to stand and when you can spin, when the gradient kicks up. Um, and as I say, Georgia Capella Cycling, some really good vlogs drop in there. Com Hunt TV tomorrow, 8 p.m. Big one tonight, 5 p.m. live stream on Ed Laverack's channel, WTRL. It's his collaboration with BRT, an official Zwift training to prepare people how to race the UCI World's Course in Richmond. There's gonna be at least 300 people um, taking part in that. It'll be a lot of fun, so check that out. And now go check out um, Ed's channel where he's just rounding off three hours of training, getting back to max effort um, fitness over the next couple of months, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, I mean, thank you, Mark. Yeah, the fatigue, resistance. I mean, I mean, I, you know, I almost wonder, is there a problem with the power meter? I know there isn't because the watt bike, you can't calibrate it. But um, I, I felt it coming in all honesty during the week. Um, I felt the power just getting better and better and better. I'm a bit irritated in all honesty because I've got to have an operation on the 27th of January and that's going to take me out for a bit. So it's going to be like a mini peak, I guess, for the next few days or a week or something like that. And then it's going to be a few steps back. It's a bit irritating, but it is what it is. Um, so I don't know um, how long it'll take to get back. <laughs> What's all of that, Rawlord? 
You've got man and a female. Is that a female or a male sign? Oh, my biology is not very good. Your phone is messed up. Like in all the signals, anyway. That thing. Um, and thanks so much for everybody for joining right away from Australia through Southeast Asia, Europe, UK, and even a couple from the USA. Super early for you. Really do appreciate it. Um, like I say, check out Ed now, 5 p.m. tonight. And um, thank you ever so much for all the support. I'm super grateful. Obviously, we're in difficult times at the moment, what with all of the rising cases of COVID-19 and the deaths spiking up. I really do hope you and your loved ones manage to stay healthy. David Raynham and your wife, Paul Neal, uh, your missus and yourself. I know a few of you out there are suffering with COVID-19. I wish you all a speedy, healthy recovery. Um, and yeah, hopefully we get to much better times in the future. In the meantime, whoever you are, whatever you do, please remember to live, thrive, stay healthy or recover well. Take care.